I take... Oh, what was it? What was it? No, it was definitely... Yes, Glowing Mushroom. There was a reason I've been collecting all of these. And I can't remember if it was Blue Butterfly Wing or... Hmm, no, I think it was like... Was it Taproot? Ah, uh, I can't remember if it was Taproot or some saber cat no i don't have any saber cat stuff and i don't have i think it was blister wart is one of the other ingredients for a fortify smithing potion and i don't have any any of that i'm pretty sure it's not taproot though let's just no yeah potion failed so let's quit alchemy and let's get back here and go talk to arcadia was it arcadia's cauldron was that her name? Let's see if she has any... Was it Blisterwort? Uh, I really just don't remember. It's been a while. Give a holler if you have Hello, Arcadia. What have you got for sale? Do you have... Ah, six Blisterwort. Let's buy all that. Uh, that wasn't too cheap, but no matter. A Daedra Heart for 666. Now, when you're coming up on a demonic heart with a value of 666, you pretty much just have to buy that. So there we go, 666. A giant's toe, that'll be nice for making some healing potions. Might as well, might as well. And... Uh, wheat is always nice, you can make some decent healing potions with wheat and blue mountain flower but i've got plenty of blue mountain flowers and they're pretty much all over the place so really know we need to buy them from arcadia now let's just get back into my alchemy laboratory And no, I have the glowing mushrooms in my inventory already. So I'm pretty sure that a glowing mushroom and a blister wart should give me a potion of fortify smithing. Oh, ho, ho. yes. So for 30 seconds, weapon and armor improving is 17% better. Let's go ahead and make two because I don't know how much time it's going to take me to get out of a weapon thing and into a, an armor thing. So let's make two of those. And... Let's see, Fortify Health and Restore Health are both wheat. Ah, but that's just what I'm carrying, right? Because I'm pretty sure I know. Here, let's just take all. Yeah, carrying too much to run, I know, I know. But let's see, Fortify Health, Wheat and Blue Mountain Flower. Yes. Uh, and Restore Health, Butterfly Wing as well. So if I were to make, let's see, because that's, ah, both of these are restore, restore, fortify, fortify. Okay, so if I take you and I make a potion of fortify and heal, so I can make a couple of those, just a couple, just a couple, and now I want to save on the wheat because that is the other only fortify thing I know apart from the blue mountain flower. So now let's take these blue mountain flowers and just make restoration potions. There we go. Quit alchemy. Alright, so now we have six that will restore 22 points of health but also increase our health for 60 seconds. So we'll use one of these first when we need emergency healing and then we can use uh, these, which are arguably very weak. I should start putting points into alchemy, I think, at some point. Yeah, because these are weaker than uh, minor healing. Minor healing are 25 points of health. These are 22. But I did make a bunch of them. So we now have the ability for a little bit more emergency healing. Let's go ahead and put all this away.
That's a lot of ingredients. Holy crap. All right. And this chest is empty. That's fine. Oh, hello, Benor. Didn't realize you were just staring at me there. Really quickly, just going to. Ah, okay, so the Dwarmer scrap metal could not be turned into ingots. Roger, roger. Malachite uh, ore. Don't need. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to use Malachite ore. I'm pretty sure that's for light armor. So is Quicksilver. That's all light armor stuff. Let's put away all the soul gems that have souls in them, because we're not going to be using them anytime immediately. Anytime soon, I don't want to say, because I might make a couple Damn, of enchanted items here and there. But, uh, Adrian, don't need to talk to you. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here. Whoops. No, nothing I can do there. All right, let's go ahead and... Ah, no, wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I know I'm going back and forth, but I really want to get that well-rested buff. There's no reason to ever lose out on a little bit of experience, especially when it comes to smithing, because smithing takes forever to level up. Now, I don't remember if you can just sleep for one hour and get the well-rested buff or not. If it is just something that... Ah, yes, you can. So you just need to sleep in, I think, your own bed. Or a bed that... Honor to you, my this is awkward. Uh, he's, he's just a friend. He's just a friend. He's not my current companion. But yes, I think as long as you sleep even just for one hour in your own owned bed, or a, a paid-for rented bed at an inn, I believe, as well, uh, you can get the well-rested buff instead of just the basic rested buff. Right, dwarven armor. Ah, I need leather strips, don't I? All this back and forth. I've got 65 leather strips, that should be fine. Shouldn't need more than 20, maybe. Right, so Benor already has a Dwarven Battle Axe. I don't have anything Dwarven, so I just need to make two full sets of armor and a Dwarven Warhammer for myself. So, 3, 58, 11, 12, 65, yeah, 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 I should have, okay, so one armor, two armor, one boots, two boots, one gauntlets, two gauntlets, one helmet, two helmet, and a... Warhammer. Beautiful. Smithing almost a 36. Ha ha ha. Yes. Now, Benor, give me that axe what do you really need to quickly. Take? I need to take your Dwarven Battle Axe because I am going to improve it a little bit. So, Potion of Fortify Smithing quaffed. We have 30 seconds to improve two weapons. Uh, Dwarven Battle Axe. Stolen? Why is that flagged as stolen? What? What, because I took it off Benor? I don't know. Why did... Ah, uh, because my smithing went up a little bit. Ah, uh, so... Okay, so I can... Up, yeah, it went up to 36, so I could improve it a tiny little bit again. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll do that as well. It'll sell for more, if anything. One steel ingot for that. Alrighty. And now... Just to make sure, because I don't know how long that lasts. Yeah, so Fortify Smithing is already gone. I'm really hoping I was able to get it on the Iron or Steel Warhammer. But let's go ahead and quaff the second Fortify Smithing Potion and improve all of this armor. Smithing improved again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. No need to do anything there. Oh, so now we have a bunch of exquisite dwarven armor. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes. 
So my torso armor goes from 65 to 77. Yes. Boots go from 24 to 32. Very nice. Helmet from 36 up to 41. And the gauntlets from 27 to 32. Oh, look at me now. That is amazing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Got it, got it. Gotta get it really... Oh, yes. Ha, ha, ha. Do I have dwarven arrows? Yes, I do. Oh, look at me now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is absolutely gorgeous. What a set of armor. I really like that uh, purple sort of skirt that is included with the armor. It really gives it a nice touch. A nice regal touch. Yes. Malakath isn't quite pleased with me yet. He'll be pleased when I have a full suit of orcish armor, but this'll do. This'll do. I'll be able to uh, get a couple more quests done and whatnot with this good set of armor on. Now, Benor. We've stopped. What is it? We have stopped. I need you, what do you to, need to equip take? this stuff. That, 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 whoops. All right, I will equip that. Very good. And here, let's just give you that Dwarven Battle Axe. Oh, yes. Yeah, now we're looking good. I'll take all this to sell. I'll leave that Orcish Bow on you, though. I could make Dwarven Bows. Hmm. Hmm. Do I still have... Still have ingots. Still have iron. Still have Wait one on steel. That. Do Dwarven Bows require steel? Because if I can make two Dwarven Bows for us... Dwarven Bow... One iron! Oh, beautiful. They don't require steel. Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Benor? We've stopped. What is it? What, what do you need to trade? To take? Give me your Orcish Bow. And I will give you a Dwarven Bow. Here we go. Beautiful. Go. So now, we are incredibly badass, the two of us. Look at us. Look at these beautiful twin bastards. Wonderful. What time is it? Why has why is Adrian not here to for me to sell stuff to her? To? Uh, maybe she's inside. With what's his name? Uh, what was your name? I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Ulfberg. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I'll take your iron ore. I need that to work on my smithing in a while. But I will sell. Hmm. Sell the armor. Yeah, I don't want to sell weapons because um, I think I'm going to collect a bunch of weapons. Because once I start enchanting, uh, if you enchant weapons, they sell for a very, very high amount. Whereas armor, not so much. You can't sell enchanted armor for very much money. But weapons, they sell for bank. So... Yeah, I think that's pretty much Good all I'm willing to... Ah, way. and we're nice and unencumbered now. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and make sure that our new Dwarven Bow is favorited. There we go. And we will yeah, put... Reforming the dawn very, very good uh, information there, White Run Guard. Thank you very much Everything for letting me... Right? No, get out of my house. <laughs> Nothing's alright. Uh, let's put the Orcish Bow away, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to make sure really quickly that I have, dis I have all the enchants for everything I currently have. If not, we will disenchant it really quickly to learn them and sell the rest. Ah. Um. 
No, I'm using that. Yeah, yeah, I'm currently using that. So lock picking is 20% easier. Thank you very much for that enchant. Hunting bow of dismay. Thank you very much for that enchant. Oh, I didn't equip this. Oh, I'm... Mm, that's frustrating. That's incredibly frustrating. I did not equip that when I was improving my armor and weapons. Oh, well, I know for next time now. I know for next time. That is unfortunate. I completely forgot to do that. And this over here is where I'm going to be keeping my sort of quote-unquote crafting gear. So we'll put that in there and sort of clear out the rest of our inventory very quickly. Careful. I don't know what these Centurion Dynamo cores are for, but they look very nice, and I think, I think, there might be a quest later on to collect, like, five of them, or something like that. I seem to remember something with regards to that. Ah, Meridia's Beacon, we can go, ooh. Yeah, we can go do Meridia's thing. Alright, let's just make sure that, um, yeah, we get stores to open nice and quickly. I want to sell off the rest of my miscellaneous items, the Dwemer bowls and cogs and plates and things like that that I might have picked up. Oh, so sorry. Sorry, Bellathor, are you not, uh... Not working yet, Bellathor? What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. Chop some sticks, bit for yarrow. Come and see this. Mm, ten in the morning, Bellathor. Are you not are you not working? <laughs> Does Bellathor not work at ten in the morning? Everyone else is working, Bellathor. How about 11? 11 in the morning, do you work? There we go. Whoops, wrong, wrong key. 11 in the morning, eh, Bellathor? Yeah, everything's for sale, my friend. I'd even... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Right, do you have iron ore? No, you don't. You've got a petty soul gem, though. I'll take that. I don't want to buy soul gems with souls in them, though. But we'll sell the bows and cups and scrap. Yeah, scrap metal did not. We'll sell that hork tusk. We'll sell the mammoth tusk as well. Um...